Rachel Early, we've recently received at the university quite a considerable amount of funding for some research that will detect lung cancer at quite an early stage using a breathalyzer. Um, just tell us a little bit about what you're hoping to achieve at the end of this. Well, lung cancer is a problem um, when it comes to diagnosis. It's, most of the time it's diagnosed too late um, and by then uh, the only chance of a cure is if we've caught it early enough and most of the time that doesn't take place because people only will, will, will only consult the doctor um, when they're getting the symptoms which in the early stages are very very vague um, it might be a cough for example which is easily confused with the after effects of a common cold or it might be um, non-specific effects like having a blocked up chest or feeling something on the chest or general weakness or aches or pains. Often the only time people consult the doctor is when they're getting very very bad symptoms like coughing up blood and by then it's too late. So what we're hoping to do is pick up the cancer before it gets to that stage um, and if we can pick it up early we can increase the chance of the patient responding to treatment and surviving um, or even a cure. We envisage it, it being available in pharmacies for the simple reason that these very early symptoms like non-specific coughs, um, they're often things that people consult pharmacies over. So they'll go in and they'll ask for some cough syrup. Um, they'll think it's a, a minor ailment which is what people go into pharmacies for generally. When they think they've got something that's self-limiting, not particularly serious, they'll go into a pharmacy and want something over the counter. Um, so the idea is that we get patients at that stage and something that for pharmacists to keep, to keep an eye on, say they have regular customers um, who maybe have been attending their smoking cessation clinics, uh, maybe they've been picking up prescriptions for um, inflammatory respiratory disease um, like, like asthma or bronchitis and the, the pharmacist can identify that these particular patients may be at risk so they can keep an eye open if these patients all of a sudden their symptoms are worsening or they're coming in um, every week and asking for a different cough syrup then that can switch something on in the pharmacist's mind. Um, could this person be showing early signs of, of malignancy? Are they worth testing for lung cancer? And these are the very same patients that otherwise might just go on for years and years and years thinking, well, they've got a cough because the weather's cold or it's raining or because it's part of their, their asthma and there's nothing they can do about it. Um, or it's because they smoke. These are just the kind of patients that won't go to the doctor until it's, it really is too late to do anything about it. And we've only uh, received the grant very recently. Yes. Uh, where, where is your research going to go in the, in the short term? Well, in the short term, what we want to do is validate a gene signature. It's a combined gene and chemical signature. So we're working with Hull uh, Medical School and uh, a very well-renowned uh, professor of respiratory medicine and we're going to work together to identify patients with lung cancer and um, non-cancerous lung disease like bronchitis um, and asthma and who are attending his cough clinic and so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the expression of these genes in um, the breath of these patients and by doing that we can set up a benchmark of the, what we call a gene signature which uh, we can then use to predict whether a patient will go on to get lung cancer in the future. Now once we've done that in patients um, where we know they've got that disease we can then start doing studies in, in patients that are attending pharmacies and to see if we can identify similar um, signatures in, in those patients, see if we can pick them up. If you had a sort of uh, wish hope the breathalyzer, how, how long do you think it could be, be before we might be able to see that? Uh, it's not going to be immediate, but we're hoping to at least get it into pharmacy-based trials within two to three years. So we have to do it in the hospital-based patients first, and we have to get that study out of the way and get some really good data from that study. And then we're hoping to reproduce this in normal patients attending high street pharmacies. And we, we have, our sponsor has a, a chain of pharmacies, so they're the first pharmacies we're going to put it into. Um, and we're hoping that will, will take place within two or three years. 
the University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.